Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds for the mind, body, and spirit. Let's see who we need to plant a seed for at this time, who the Holy Spirit has a message for. Which king or queen? King of swords, okay? King of swords, child. Let's see, Holy Spirit. What do you want my Libras, Geminis, and Aquarius, King of Swords, masculine energies to know at this time? Or what do we need to know about them? Holy Spirit, it could be one of them listening or it could be somebody listening because they're dealing with the King of Swords. However, whatever the case is, Holy Spirit, what are the messages at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for us to know regarding the... Aquarius is Gemini's and what is it? Libra masculine child. I'm about to forget, child. Let's see. Maybe a King of Swords wants you to forget something, or maybe somebody wants you to forget something, King of Swords, something like that here. 111 hitting the clock. It's something like that here. Okay, let's see, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know? What's the message regarding my King of Swords at this time? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go. Ten of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. I had my eyes closed. Mm. So somebody is trying to do something spiritual. You better believe that. That's what I'm picking up on. If it, if it ain't spiritual, it's on the physical realm. It could be down both, I just heard. There is a King of Swords in this energy, too. They're, they're watching somebody trying to figure out what type of action they can take to have this person in the Ten of Swords, this Ace of Pentacles. They want to restrict this Ace of Pentacles. They've been trying to figure out how they can restrict this Ace of Pentacles possibly in their home, okay? They're trying to, not just with this Four of Wands representing home, they're also trying to restrict this person's creativity, their ability to establish a community of their own, some sort of stability here with this four of wands. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure out how they can restrict an ace of pentacles. The person they trying to figure out how they can restrict is a Virgo. Knight of wands, I'm telling you. It's the king of swords, clarify Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. What is that? Nine of Cups. That's him right there on that card. That's him on this page of Pentecost card too. He got on a red hat and both damn cards. That's him. And it's really given because he looked like he was younger when he started out doing this. And he done got a little thicker or older since he been trying to do this against this Ace of Pentacles now. Okay, so this has been somebody's goal for a long time. Whoever this King of this King of Swords is, he may not even necessarily be a Sun, Gemini, Libra, or, or an Aquarius. I'm hearing that could be somewhere prominent in his chart where he's taking action. Damn, I think it's Pluto. I might be wrong. I might be wrong now. Don't quote me. I know the birth chart thing get a little bit, but I'm hearing Pluto is this is where his sword energy is at. It it's some type something with consistency and persistence as well here. Whoever this masculine is, he feels like it's going to be a lifetime achievement, a wish come true if he's able to take this action against this. Ace of Pentacles now. It's something he's planning for the near future, possibly towards her and her family. I just heard it's a her and she got a family. Clarify. Eight of Pentacles. It's something he's working on. Eight of Pentacles against this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify. I heard her and her family. Nine of Pentacles. She a Virgo. I'm telling you what I'm picking up on, y'all. 444, four, four, but she's spiritually protected from this, this person who's watching her. It's two cards with this man holding that pinnacle in his hand. 
he been doing this for a long time. This has become a routine for this King of Swords to mess with this woman. He could also have Earth somewhere prominently in his chart. But this has been a secret. This has been something that is hidden, that is not revealed. And he has been trying to figure out how he can restrict her, but that is a secret. That's also what this high priestess has given me. Her divine, esoteric, spiritual talents and abilities are not for him to tame. He will not ever be able to figure out a method to restrict this woman. She is going to be right here, okay? No matter what bold and erratic behavior he conducts against her, and he's going to be in the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Because whatever this is that he's about to try to do in the future, he finna get fucked up behind that. And it could be him trying to come in, look, as this, I, I want to be your man energy. Okay? And I got to download about that too. Okay? I might do a reading on that, child. But, ooh, ooh, I'm trying to tell you, he wants to distract you. And I feel like in the beginning, I said something about make you forget that either a king of swords was, somebody was trying to make him forget something or he was trying to make somebody else forget something. If you are a Virgo, high priestess energy, which is what we see with the sun, things are revealed to you. Okay, you the hermit. Can't nothing stay hidden from you. You're going to figure that shit out. So this man may be doing something to make you not be able to pick up on his energy. Because you're familiar with his energy. He's been attacking you too long. So when this man come around you, you would immediately pick up that he ain't right. Okay? And I, I feel like I'm talking to the Virgo. So the Virgo may, need, is, may end up listening to this. You may even know this King of Swords for me to even say that too. He wants you to forget something though. And again, he may not even be a King of Swords in his son. He could be a King of Cups in his son's sign. But he's going to come in and try to give you a slick love offer. And that's going to, he feels like that's going to be his way in to get you for good here. To if he has a victory with you, romantically that will be a turning point and he will get justice and he can break your ass down because that's what he's been trying to do for a long time but if he in house if he's in a relationship with you this is how he's gonna do it okay death child this could be a scorpio king of wands he finna come in and make I, ooh, child this for a cross watcher this for a cross watcher, okay? This King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands energy, cause he a shapeshifter. He done picked up multiple lines of study to try to figure out how to block this Virgo High Priestess, okay? This is somebody he has past involvement with. He is trying to Come back in and give her a slick love offer. Think that she's having a victory with him when it comes to romance so that he can enact justice against her and break her down. Possibly to nothing. Okay, that's his plan. He's about to take this risk to cause drama in her life. Okay, he's about to do it. He's about to come on in with this, I'm your man energy. I want to be your man energy that I was picking up on. And he hoping you'll fall for it. So he can end your ass for once and for all. Because that's how he feel he's going to have to do it. He got to he gotta offer you a partnership in order for you to put your guards down, to put your defenses down so he can attack you the way that he needs to. But the universe ain't having that king of swords, okay? You defeated like a motherfucker, even before you can take off and begin. That's what I'm hearing. 
because the universe sees what this masculine's plan is against somebody, Queen of Swords. The universe sees that this man is only doing this 1001 so that he can end her somehow. And the universe not going to let that happen. Okay? Because whoever you are, you are sitting in some divine energy. So whatever your mission in life is currently, it is in alignment with the universe. The universe is in agreement. The Most High God is proud of your contributions to this earth. Okay? Don't let nobody tell you different. You coming out here as the Ace of Pentacles. Do you really think Six of Pentacles, because of how you give to and receive from others, how you give to and receive from the Most High God, that they're going to allow this King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands? I'm telling you now, he a whole shapeshifter. He a whole shapeshifter now. Do you really think they're going to let him come in and breadcrumb you? do you this way they ain't gonna let it happen but you can allow it to happen 11 11 if you choose to follow this bullshit up but whoever i'm picking up on i feel like you got enough sense to know that you need to remain disconnected from this person when he comes to take this risk towards you i feel like you're not going to accept it clarify Three of Wands. You're going to turn your back to him. You done brought in your horizons, whoever I'm talking to. You know it's better out there. You, you know that your life can take on many directions. And being with him is not the direction that the universe wants you to go in, whoever I'm talking to. You know you've had time to possibly even recover and have talks with God about what you should do moving forward in your life possibly after something with him because i'm telling you you know this person but it's this weird energy of he's been disguising himself you know he ain't no good but you all know that it's been his mission in life to destroy you to destroy you ain't no just break you down if he couldn't have you in the 10 in the death he wanted you in the eight and the five He's about to settle for the five because he hasn't been able to get the 10 and the death. He's hoping maybe he can get the five of wands on you. Maybe the five of swords, some sort of defeat. But he defeated because whoever you are, you're going to keep doing this right here. Okay. That's what you're going to keep doing. You're going to continue to have options in life and move forward. As long as you keep your head on your shoulders, you're going to be just fine. And this masculine King of Cups energy going to be left in regret. Because I'm telling you, he about to try to communicate to you some sort of hope that he has for you and him to connect in the future. Yep. Let me clarify this man energy. Let's see what... Holy Spirit, let's use some of the I Be Knowing Oracle deck. I want to see what we need to know about this King of Swords, Holy Spirit. Damn, this confirmation for somebody. This confirmation now. This man may have already tried to reach out to you. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this King of Swords? Can we get some clarity from this I Be Knowing Oracle deck? Please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know about this individual and his intentions for this divine feminine, this ace of pentacles energy, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. I, I just really feel like you ain't gonna fall for the okie doke. But he he's pretty sure that this is gonna do it. So let's just see what all we need to know about this this masculine and his intentions. Damn. We got to be grateful. But it's in reverse, honey. You don't need to be grateful for him. I feel like he going to come in with some energy like he grateful for you, but he not. 1441. What else? It's not as good as yours. I'm telling you, he, he about to lay it on thick, honey. He about to lay it on thick. 
He about to make you think that he only has eyes for you, that he is conservative. I'm telling you that he don't fuck with nobody else, that he wants to be in some sort of long lasting commitment with you. But we did not see none of that energy out here. The father y'all got was the king and queen of cups, knight of cups with the six of wands. He gonna make you think, 1515, that he wants to have a victory with you. She, but she, look, she loves you and him. Thank you, ancestors. So whoever this shapeshifter masculine is, he may already be with somebody, okay? Thank you, ancestors came out here because that's more of what I was speaking about regarding your mindset with this man. You have been shown something about him that lets you know you're just not finna fool with this person. Okay? And you have your ancestors to thank for that. You also need to thank your ancestors for spiritually protecting you from this person. Okay? And you are going to have to check yourself when this man comes. Okay? It's going to be a a moment of indecisiveness, even though you know he ain't no good, but you just need to remember possibly what you've already dealt with surrounding this man's energy. We have throat chakra and we have children. Okay. You could have kids with this, this person, which is why they feel like if they give you this romantic offer that you will get in alignment if they claim that they want to achieve happiness with you and possibly a child y'all created together, that you're going to go for it. But I'm telling you, you, you are spiritually protected from this man. You've been spiritually protected from this man, baby daddy or not. Maybe I just heard maybe somebody children didn't even say it, that you don't need to ever fuck with him again because of something they didn't witness. Do feel like I said you was a mother. I don't know, child. I, he trying to fuck with your mind, though. I do know that. He wants you to forget what you already know to be true about him. But we got thank you, ancestors, and Archangel Michael out here. That's how much the universe has been huddling up to spiritually protect you from this person. Okay, so... priorities, honey. And I feel like you're too grounded to fall for this. But it is going to be some sort of challenge because he finna try you. Okay? They pillow talk about you. Divine connection and divine purpose. Pisces, I told you, you are, whoever I'm picking up on, whoever this divine feminine is, she is a Virgo high priestess who has a divine connection and a divine purpose. And this King of Swords shapeshifter, that's why this She Loves You and Him came out here. That's why that came out here. Because I was like, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> but it's some old past life bullshit going on here. And that's why his ass been on your ass. It's a woman here. It's a woman here that this man is dealing with who also has some sort of vendetta against you. But you were in a partnership with this masculine here, okay? And whatever you done did to piss him off and for him to want to, you know, go for your jugular, she shares the same sentiment. They know that you are special. They know it. That's why they, you know how they know it? Because they know they ain't been able to beat your ass. That's how they know you're special. Confirmation. Trying to tell you. Child, we finna sit this right up here. Child, that, that didn't pop back out here, honey. This confirmation for somebody, honey. Mm, what do we need to know about? Ooh, he hurt. He hurt, honey. He hurt that he ain't been able to destroy you. He hate that he ain't been able to put you in some sort of jail, possibly on the physical and the spiritual realm. Because Eight of Swords was out here between the Ace of Pentacles and this Hermit card. So this man to try to get you locked up, he ain't been able to do that, honey. You at peace. Pow. 
The universe loves you, okay? He need to go and fucking check that bad witch he fucking with. That's what he need to go do. Because it's really giving that. I don't even want to fucking pull no energy on that hoe. She's sick, and he is too. Because it ain't no way it's a couple. I, every time I... And he was out here on his own. Because that's what he wants you to think, honey. He wants you to think that he ain't fucking with this other woman. Who you probably know about. Don't tell. Shh. He don't want it to be known, honey. He don't want you to know that he's still fucking with this bad witch who also has a vendetta against you. Okay? Mm. Wow. And this why this what the universe saying. Don't accept no bum behavior from this shape-shifting ass mofo from your past. Baby daddy or not, he may not be your baby daddy. It depends. You got to place yourself where you fit. But this children energy was also giving me that even your children have witnessed this man's negative action against you, whether he the daddy of them or not. And they have said something about him that they don't like him and they don't want you around him, 2112. So you might want to listen to your children, okay? Out of the mouths of babes, don't forget because it's something, 2121, that you've already been shown about this man that he knows good for you. And the offer may be tempting, but it's one that you should not take. That's what I'm hearing. You've had some sort of past life partnership with this karmic soulmate. And he defeat. I feel he defeated you in the past life because he's going too fucking hard to defeat you now. Clarifying and we're going to get ready to close. Look, Yin Yang then came out here. He trying to balance this shit in his favor because in the last lifetime, he he defeated you. He did. The gross sisters click then came out here. This man may be utilizing a number of women to spiritually. It's like, it's some vibe like he one of these type of men that'll go and try to hook up with women that he knows don't like a certain woman, 22-22, so he can try to balance things in his favor. If he, he feels if he has their energy, their negative energy towards you, he can utilize that to attack you with it, okay? So it's, it's multiple women. There's a bad witch energy. There's a number of women. It was like three different references that he got a woman that he is kicking with about you who don't like you. This is a click of them. They could be a, a little com coven of his and they don't know it. Confusion. They don't realize what's up with this man. That's what I'm hearing. He know they dislike you and he's utilizing them for their negative energy against you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So this definitely ain't nobody you need to reconnect with. I don't give a damn what he offer you, what he say, what he do. I don't give a damn. And you know it too. We got karmic tarot reader out here now. Yeah, this motherfucker probably think I'm karmic because I'm spilling his tea. <laughs> I'm telling his plans to get you fucked up. Okay, maybe there is a tarot reader who has told you about this man confusion with karmic tarot reader that could be it you may be could clarify look animal instincts then came out here artist in aries okay so i don't know who this for but whoever this is you got some sort of past history with this masculine this masculine has been coming for you for a long time. He's used the energy of other women to do it. He could be an, an artist. I just heard recording artist. He, he's a boss, Aries Emperor energy. He did come out here as this King of Wands, okay? He shapeshift. He got air, fire, and water, and earth prominently in his chart. And he uses those elements to make shit happen spiritually as well as on the physical realm 
Your animal instincts have told you about this man. It don't matter what no tarot reader or nobody else say. At the end of the day, you have to use your own gut, rely on your own judgment. And you've already been shown that this man is no good for you. Okay? You have went and got some sort of spiritual advice about this, per this person. But you know their purpose. Okay? Purpose coming out after confusion. You've got clarity about this man. Okay? And you know what his intentions are for you. So don't fall for the okie doke. I'm hearing that again. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Look. Because he coming for you. I feel the universe has told him, don't do it. This person has a divine connection and a divine pur purpose. Don't come fucking with her. But I feel like he is. We see it's out here. He's not backing down. He, this is, look, look. Don't come for someone if they didn't send for you. Now look what came out here. God blocked it. Know that. I'm telling you, this ain't nobody you want to be dealing with, child. This ain't nobody you want to be dealing with, okay? And I'm going to drop the mic on that. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.